this. Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. Now when you think about going somewhere for vacation, you probably think about sandy beaches or great food or something that'll save your marriage. Well today we're gonna be doing the exact opposite. I've dug through the internet to find some of the most terrifying places on the planet for today's list of top 10 scary places on earth you should never visit. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification Bill. Also, stick around for the top two because they're absolutely insane. Without taking any longer, let's get into it. Number 10, Povagelia Island. This place has centuries of horrible history. Like this place is probably scarier than my bank statement. Povagelia Island is off the coast of Italy and during the bubonic plague, it was where they would send sick people to die. If you don't know what the bubonic plague is, it wiped out 25 million people. It makes an E. coli outbreak seem like a bad hangover. They would do this to quarantine the sick and the island would get so populated with people that eventually they would burn the dead bodies or those who were close to dead. It's believed that over 100,000 people have died on this island. So that's probably enough. But wait, there's more. In the early 20th century, they built an insane asylum on the island. I'm assuming they did this so that the ghosts from the plague could finally have some people to talk to. But this wasn't a place where people would go to get treated, it was more a place they would send them to exile them from the rest of humanity. There's even rumors that one of the head psychiatrists working on the island was performing all sorts of twisted experiments on his patients. That's until he killed himself by jumping off the bell tower. The island is now shut down and entry is forbidden. Many locals think that the island is cursed. I would have to say that killing hundreds of thousands of people and experimenting on innocent souls is a good way to get a curse going. Number nine, the Paris Catacombs. Why would anywhere in Paris be on this list? I would love to go to Paris. I would just go and eat bread and cheese all day and then start waging war against the mimes. But underneath Paris is the Paris Catacombs, which is housed to about six million bodies. If you're wondering why, back in the 16th century, Paris had a problem with an overflow of corpses and needed somewhere to chuck them. So they started to put them in an abandoned quarry. This seems like when my room is too messy and instead of actually cleaning it up, I just throw everything in the closet. It took about 14 years to transfer all the bodies from cemeteries to their new homes under the city. Also, the catacombs were just one part of over 200 miles of passageways under the city. This really makes Paris seem much less romantic. If a bunch of dead bodies weren't enough, then I'm sure you'll be pleased to know that since the catacombs were built, many people have gone missing in there. Oh. Some people think it's just accidents, but others believe that there's something lurking in the shadows. Number eight, Hoabachu Forest. Let's go to a forest for a nice picnic and see a bunch of ghosts. Hoabachu Forest is in Romania and is called the most haunted forest in the world. This place is massive, it covers over 250 hectares. Strange things are constantly happening in this place. People say they've seen ghosts, taken pictures with disembodied faces appearing in them, heard voices, giggling. People who enter the forest will also see physical signs of harm, like rashes, cuts, bruises, burns, nausea. The last bit kind of sounds just like allergies. I mean, you are in a forest. Many locals are too afraid to venture into the forest because of the legends. And if you don't believe in ghosts, then what about aliens? There have been several photos of UFOs flying over the forest. Some people have said they've seen floating balls of light appear out of nowhere. There's even an area in the forest where no vegetation will grow. That forms almost a perfect circle. There have been some tests done on this mysterious circle and it shows slightly higher levels of radiation. This could be because a UFO landed there and that's why nothing grows. Ghosts and aliens, pretty good reason to skip this vacation spot. Number seven, Eastern State Penitentiary, Pennsylvania. If just being a house for some of the most dangerous people who ever lived wasn't enough, I'm gonna give you a few more reasons why you would never want to visit this place. The old abandoned Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania used to be one of the most horrible prisons on earth. Anyone who was sent to this prison would be permanently kept in solitary confinement. You couldn't even make friends. You couldn't talk to people. You couldn't buy cigarettes that were snuck in inside someone's butt. It ruins all the fun of prison. They would go as far as making prisoners wear masks if they were transported from one place to another so no one could see or recognize their faces. As a punishment, some prisoners would be forced to sit in the mad chair. 
where you'll be strapped down and left there for days without food. Sometimes the straps were fastened so tight that limbs would have to be amputated after because there was no circulation. Since the closure of the prison, there have been 100 reports of ghostly encounters. One from a previous caretaker who said he was grabbed so tight he couldn't move from an unknown force, and then he saw distorted faces appear all over the walls. Number six. Waverly Hills Sanatorium Back in 1910, there was a tuberculosis epidemic that was sweeping through America. Hundreds of people were dying every day. So in Louisville, Kentucky, they thought about building a sanctuary where everyone could get better. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Almost everyone who got sent up to the Waverly Hills Sanatorium died. Approximately 63,000 people died up there. When things were at their worst, they said that people were dying almost every hour. They had so many dead bodies that the hospital couldn't get them out fast enough and had to start keeping them in the cold storage unit in the kitchen. Yum! They would keep the ground beef next to the soon to be ground beef. Since this lovely getaway's closure, there have been many paranormal investigators that have gone to check out this ghost place. And this place is a ghost gold mine. Not only has there been countless sightings of ghosts, but a reoccurring beast known as the creeper. It's said to be a man that runs on all fours with no face. Number 5. Area 51 This is probably the most famous one on the list. Area 51 is of course the top secret American military base in the middle of the desert out in Nevada. If I ever get on a plane to Nevada, it will be for Las Vegas. I'd rather lose my life savings playing blackjack than find out aliens are real and then get killed for it. The thing is, no one really knows what goes on in Area 51, but there have been many leaks. The biggest is that the United States uses the base to keep and test alien technology, and that they have living aliens there which they experiment on. There's even rumors that Area 51 has been compromised by the aliens that were being held there and now control it, shifting the direction of humankind with their newfound power. But like I said, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Next time I'm over in Vegas, the only place you'll find me is putting on 20 pounds at a buffet or singing along at the Britney Spears Vegas show. Number 4. Snake Island I know there's some guy out there with a ponytail whose nipples probably got hard just at me saying Snake Island. He's probably picking out his favorite sword from his collection to go out on an expedition. Anyway, Snake Island is right off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and this place lives up to the reputation. There's approximately one snake for every square feet of island, and they aren't harmless garden snakes. Most of the snakes on the island are vipers, known for being venomous and having extremely large fangs. Snake Island used to be connected to the mainland and was just a regular old place, but then a flood disconnected it. A large amount of snakes were isolated there and they started thriving. This sounds like an abandoned script for the Anaconda movie with Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez. Number 3. Seguin Island Off the coast of Maine is Seguin Island. It's approximately 64 acres and almost completely abandoned. It has some visitors here and there, but there's almost no one who lives on the island. So if you ended up shipwrecked there, or for some reason there was a crazy killer on the island and he wanted to chop you up, then there'd be a good chance that no one would ever find you. But that's not even the creepiest part about this place. It's home to one of the oldest lighthouses in history. No one has lived in this building for quite some time, but it said when people come to visit, there have been many ghostly sightings. Some people say they can hear a little girl's laughter and piano playing. There have also been sightings of a ghostly old man that gets furious because all his furniture is gone. The audacity of some people. You die for a hundred years and people just start moving all your stuff up. Number 2. Mikajima Island What did Pompeii teach us? Never live around volcanoes. They can blow at any moment and wipe out everyone. Well it taught us that and what some people choose to do in their final moments. So there was a famous picture taken oh. by Professor Massimo Osana uh, that uh. shows a man with his right hand uh. above his genital area. <laughs> You know what they say, live by the sword, die by the sword. Well the people of Miyakojima Island must have not got the memo because they all live at the base of a volcano. Every resident who lives on this island must own a gas mask because they're at constant risk of being covered in a gigantic cloud of deadly ash at any time. This is how the island got its nickname, Gas Mask Island. Also, if you make the risky choice to move to the base of an active 
active volcano, you should get used to the sounds of sirens. There are sirens all over the island that will screech out to tell you it's time to put on your gas mask. Number one, Island of the Dolls. All right, we're gonna wrap up this list with a place that is dedicated to one of the creepiest things around. Dolls. The Island of the Dolls is located in Mexico, just south of Mexico City. The story behind this American Girl store meets House of a Thousand Corpses is there was a man who lived on this tiny island. One day he found a girl's dead body floating in the river and not far away from it was a doll which he suspected belonged to the little girl. He then hung the girl's doll from a tree as a way to calm her spirit and continued to do so with every doll he could find. The twisted end to this story is that the man eventually was found dead in a spot not far from the girl's body was found. Well everyone, that's our list. Make sure you write in the comments which one was your favorite and which scary place you would have added to the list. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. As always, I've been your host, Shade Arena, and until next time, I'm going to be spending my vacation at home.